Today we're going to talk about loops or repetition structures inside of Python. Now there's two main types of repetition structures. The first is called a conditional loop. A conditional loop is when we're going to run a loop whenever a condition is met. And this is the exact same type of condition you would expect to find, like in an if statement. The second type of loop is going to be sometimes referred to as a counting loop. An accounting loop is designed to execute a certain number of times, a specific number often. Maybe it's based upon how big of a data set we have or a number that we've predefined. We're going to first look at a conditional loop. So I have an empty file here. I want to create a program that's going to ask a user to input the number of sales a person had and a commission rate and report back how much commission they earned. Then if they want to run it again, they can enter Y for yes, and we'll run it for them again. The first thing we're going to need is a variable which is going to store that user's input. And we're going to use that to check on our condition. So we're just going to call this continue execution, or continue exact for short. And we're going to put a string with just the letter Y inside of it. We're going to come down and specify a while, specify our condition, continue exact equals equals. Remember. You have to use a double equal sign whenever you're checking for equality. Why? And then we're going to put the colon to let us know. After this, we're going to have our loop body. Move to a new line, and we need an indent. Remember, Python uses indentation whenever we're going to find a body of an element. So now we're going to ask the questions to our user. Because these are going to be numbers, we're going to wrap them inside of floats. That way, if someone puts a decimal point, it'll be able to handle it. So call a float function. Inside of it, we'll put the input. And it will automatically convert our string input into a float when we store it in the sales variable. Now we ask what is the commission rate? And from here, we're going to calculate the commission. We have a print statement that's going to let us know what the commission is, and we're using the format command to format the number so that's a little bit more clean. Once this is done, we need to ask our end user, do we want them to continue? Now, what we've done is we've asked, do you want to continue with a Y slash N? That way, it give a hint to the user that they don't have to enter yes, they don't have to enter of course, they know what we're going to ask for. Because we hit the end of this loop, it will come back and check our condition, which we have just set inside of input, and it's going to look for that capital N. If it sees the capital N, it's going to run again. If it doesn't, it's going to exit. Everything that's indented is part of the while block. And every time that the condition evaluates as true, we're going to run that entire block. To exit the block, we need to be on a line without an indentation. So what I'm going to do just to show this is put one final print statement that's going to specify that we're exiting. Switch back to the command console, run it, put a value in for the sales, put a value in for the commission rate, and we get an answer. Do I want to continue? I'm going to type a capital Y, and now ask me how much sales for this period. Enter in my values, I get a new commission rate. I'm going to type in a lowercase y, and when I hit enter, you'll notice that it says I'm exiting the application. That's because Python is case sensitive, and we specify that continue exec is looking for a capital Y. To make this a little bit easier for our end users, I'm going to come up to my condition and use a Boolean logical or. And specify continue exec equals, and now I'm going to use a lowercase y. Now, when a person enters in a value, if they accidentally hit a lowercase y, it's going to work. If they hit n or any other character, it's going to automatically fail, and it's going to come to our exiting application. 